Hello everyone and now welcome to game number one in a series between Focus and Happy. Game one taking place here on Total Rock. Happy spawning as the blue undead over here at what I'll call the three o'clock position of Turtle Rock. Meanwhile, on the other end of the map, we have Focus spawning as the yellow orc. Orc versus undead in this 1v1 matchup as Turtle Rock is a rather large sprawling map. Um, which is difficult to traverse from corner to corner, but because of the amount of dead space on the map, doesn't quite play out as large as it possibly could be. Now, we are going to be looking at a Blade Master going up against a delayed Death Knight as Crypt Fiends are in the works. Graveyard already in play and Happy being very, very cautious to set up these ziggurats early on and make sure that it is not easy for that Blade Master to um, well, do target practice and blade dulling on these acolytes. Meanwhile, back over here, you can see Focus has set up his Voodoo Lounge off to the very corner here at the very edge of his base. This will allow him, excuse me, this will allow him to be able to creep out relatively quickly these two creep camps and still buy the necessary items healing salves speed scrolls things of that nature as the blade master is about to make its rounds right now out now how do i believe this matchup will be played out early early on i do believe raiders are going to be a very very powerful unit in addition to those destroyers but it's going to be how these players transition to it you can see the death knight and going for those crypt fiends so those crypt fiends are gonna in fact do a fair bit of damage but a where is this crypt fiend actually attack. traveling off to he wants to make sure that this is not the spawning location of his opponent and that is pretty much it meanwhile blade master going after this one ogre magi here already used wind walk got behind enemy lines made sure that the ogre warriors were not within combat range there he goes takes him down picks up cause of attack plus nine an extremely useful item now we're gonna see him head over here perhaps to the voodoo lounge no gonna go straight after this ogre warrior creep camp and this grunt is going to be playing target practice or a damage soaking blade master dealing the majority of the damage here obviously meanwhile back out you can see that the death knight has picked up a mantle of intelligence very very useful item and he has gone for that death coil first Crypt Fiends with that Death Knight now wandering out, on and out and about. Meanwhile, the Blade Master using the Clarity Potion and the Healing Salve. Not quite sure where he wants to travel to next. There are some very, very powerful items to be a had from these center creep attack. camps, but I do not believe the Blade Master can take those on and challenge them just quite yet. It looks as though Focus is going to be going after the center creep camp. Nope. He's just going to be doing a little bit of wind walk instead. You can see that the Death Knight has, well, gotten to level 2. The Blade Master coming across over here, wanting to steal a bit of experience, does get exactly that. Now going after those skeletal minions to get to level 2. Are we going to see that actually happen as the Blade Master now going after the Death Knight as well? The Death Knight taking a little bit of damage. He has no easy way of healing himself. Meanwhile, the Blade Master himself has Ring of Protection and already close to 8 armor. There is level 2 getting that final shot off there. He will now be able to get Critical Strike, perhaps pick up Boots of Speed. And we'll see how all of this will work out here in just a moment. Blade Master is now looking to heal back up. There are grunts in the center portion of the map. One will get healed up as Focus taking care of all of his units, doing all the small things correctly as we are now looking into Tier 2. Now, I am expecting Happy to continue to add more and more Crypt Fiends to this, and with an army of Crypt Fiends and Skeletal Minions, he can easily take out some of these more difficult orange creep camps. He may even try and go for this red uh, creep camp off over here, knowing that the Blade Master is going to be doing some heavy creeping of his own. The Skeletal Minion now keeping track and keeping tabs of his opponent. The Blade Master, however, going to pick up a very useful item again, I believe. No, Ring of Protection plus three. He did not want it. Instead, sold it for a second Circlet of Nobility, now giving him plus four to every single stat. Back across here, you can see that the Crypt Fiends 
finding a, a grunt out in open space. Death Knight not being very efficient with his um, with his time right now, only going after these green creep camps. There is going to be a lich out here in just a moment, and the Blade Master now going to come in and join in on the fight. Blade Master going after that Crypt Fiend without the help of the lich for that frost armor. It's going to be very, very difficult to try and keep those units alive. Meanwhile, a grunt does get taken down, and now Focus finds himself on the receiving end of a lost unit. Death Knight saving that uh, Crypt Fiend once more, but the Blade Master with those critical strikes, 118, even at level 2. Very, very high damage there. You can take a look. Up to 62 damage. So that was on the upper, upper end of that critical strike there, doubling its damage. Forces are under Shadow Hunter is coming, bearing gifts of healing salves and speed scrolls in addition to some healing wave. That is going to definitely help out in addition to the occasional hex that that Shadow Hunter can in fact cast. Death Knight now coming across. Are we going to see perhaps a hex onto the Death Knight? No. No hex onto the Death Knight preventing the heal as the units are now pushing back the other way. In this little war of, in this little push war so far, the Blade Master, the Shadow Hunter, sitting at level 2, level 1, Lich should be making its rounds out in just a moment, but is not going to be that strong until we see that Orb of Corruption. Now you can see that the Shadow Hunter is actually going after the Forest Troll Warlord, one of the more difficult creep camps with the help of the Blade Master. Main damage there, two very very high critical strikes as we see boots of both the loss now getting plus 19 attack on that blade master shadow hunter needs to perhaps get some heals off on the remaining unit and focus is really really just locked in and dialed in right now in terms of how effective he is creeping out these creep camps taking on a very difficult orange creep camp just sitting at or excuse me red creep camp sitting with a level two blade master and a level one shadow hunter is no easy task he was able to do it while keeping all of his units alive happy instead going after the gargantuan sea turtles here and he will pick up a useful tome or a tome of agility and potion of greater mana but what he was really looking for was a potion of of health or a potion of invulnerability. Now, the Lich is a perhaps going to head back here, wait attack. for that Black Citadel to be done. He does have Claws of Attack plus 6, but the Blade Master seems to be doing a better job on both ends or on Creeping right now, but it is going to turn into a little bit of a catch-up race. Lich now nearby. You see Frost Armor cast across so many units. It's going to be difficult for that Blade Master to really dial in and focus onto any undead target as that Lich will be giving that plus three armor and more importantly, that slowing debuff. Attack. Back across here, Shadow Hunter does heal himself a little bit more. We are seeing two creep camps getting crept out at once. Those Gargantuan Sea Turtles traveling quite a distance in order to go after these units. Shadow Hunter wants to get to level three as the Blade Master is trying to keep track of where his opponent is. This is where this is where the blade master's wind walk really really it slows down the lich from getting to level three no more very very strong frost nova and death coil but he needs to catch his opponent creeping in order for that to work shadow hunter now uh, purposely pulling these units away i only see raiders right now i don't know if the raiders have in snare okay, as of yet i would assume so at this point as we see a quick quick surround on the ogre lord ogre lord Tries to head back home, unable to do so. Crystal Ball is the item dropped behind. Not necessarily the best item. It may be used and then quickly sold as we see double critical strikes at 122 and dealing a significant of damage to that poor, poor Ogre Magi. Now, we need to see what's going to be happening here. We are now returning back home. You can see Happy going to find a Voodoo Lounge pretty much out in the open. A Pit Lord has been brought into play. Howl of Terror is very effective at slowing down that Blade Master just a bit as we see a quick burrow right there. All right, there is that Howl of Terror reducing the damage that the Blade Master is going to be able to deal as he now tries to fight his way back through once again. Frost Nova, oh wow, Grunt trying to stay alive, unable to do so. Death for a Crypt Fiend as we are still seeing units fighting left and right. There goes another Grunt. A burrowed Crypt Fiend able to stay alive. Are we going to see another burrowed Crypt Fiend? No Frost Armor on Happy's units. That is a big surprise. Perhaps low on mana as the Destroyers now come out to play. The Destroyers are going to be able to deal so, so much damage here. And there goes one Kodo Beast. Howl of Terror coming across. We could see Devour Magic as they are able to fight 
regenerate hit points and deal so much damage once again. All right, there's a dust of appearance. Blade Master is revealed. A little bit of damage being dealt back and forth. Voodoo Lounge needs to be reconstructed as the Blade Master really needs it in order to stay alive. Back across over here. Let's take a look. There goes that Voodoo Lounge again. It could have been canceled. Damage being dealt back across. It looks as though there are troll headhunters, but those headhunters, wow, come on, just something hit that one. And there it goes. It does get taken out. All right, Orc Burrows. Um, I have no discrimination towards trolls. Orc Burrow now getting focused down by these destroyers. Two destroyers really, really dealing a lot of damage. And the benefit of the Howl of Terror for those destroyers to be able to devour, getting additional mana and also some additional hit points as well. You can see the Headhunter is now coming back out. They are not yet quite berserkers as the units are now trying to rush back into here without... Uh, you got to be careful though, without Obsidian Statues, mana is extremely difficult to come by as the units are now looking to back off. Happy doing a great job so far, continuing this pressure, but he has to be extremely careful. Speed Scroll now being used. Lich trying to run away, does not need to run away anymore as the Blade Master no longer has a Speed Scroll. It was devoured off, but he does have a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability still on him. All right, Destroyer may get taken out. One more shot would do it. And it looks as though the Shadow Hunter is going to be able to get that destroyer. Meanwhile, the Blade Master Chilch trying to run back here. So many units are in the red here as this destroyer tries to get back up onto the high ground. It does devour magic and eats up some of the Spirit Link in order to get back into good health again. Destroyer going after the uh, Shadow Hunter now. Shadow Hunter now trying to run away. We are going to see more devour magic. That destroyer still has plenty of mana. Is that raider going to get taken down? I do believe so. And one more shot should do it. Wow, he stays alive at 24. The damage is all chasing still as a Crypt Fiend slowly being digested by that Kodo Beast. Long fight coming across here. The Destroyers, one Destroyer being so meticulously controlled by Happy. As you see the Raider come in, get in and snare down onto the Destroyer. The Destroyer, however, getting a second chance on life with the help of that Death Coil. So far, though, things are looking up and up for that Death Knight and the Undead Army. Lich is still very strong. Troll Berserkers are now being trained up. You can see we are at Fortress, but without the fortified armor on those Orc Burrows, the Destroyers do deal full damage in addition to those Crypt Fiends, minus any natural 5 armor reduction. So far, we are still fighting back off over here, but it looks as though the Blade Master and the Shadow Hunter have still really not re-engaged yet. No reason to try and retreat at all as the Blade Master now quickly comes in. Focus firing down the Blade Master. Blade Master almost gets taken down. Burrowed, Crypting, hiding for a little while longer. Destroyer is going to be in trouble. Death Knight does not have a way to heal it as the Destroyer does get taken down. Blade Master now sitting at level 4. Raider gets taken down. Lich now sitting at level 3. Still fighting back and forth as a new Destroyer does take to the skies. Obsidian Statue still continuing the pressure. Frost Nova Death Coil. One hero down and there is the GG. A beautiful play by Happy in order to win out in the end. Not quite sure how that play went down as Happy was able to dissect Focus's army and even with home field advantage, because he was caught unaware, was unable to save that Voodoo Lounge and without a Voodoo Lounge, without access to Speed Squirrels, Healing Salves, Potions of Healing, the Blade Master could not stay in that engagement long enough. At the end, Happy wins and with a nice score here, but you can tell by the final score that Happy was not leading as he decided to attack the Orc base. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game number one. I will be casting game number two perhaps tomorrow.